to sat out here with this uh, rival MT, rival MT10. Basically testing it out, see, see about the gears and shit in it. Um, yeah. Yeah, got my first wages today. Um, weekly pay, innit? Not, I didn't get paid a whole week because I started last Thursday, innit? For, so I think I got paid um, two days, Thursday, Friday, I think, yeah, Thursday, Friday. So at least that's sorted, man. Pay or and everything, it went through and that, you know what I mean? You get paid on the Thursday, but it's in your bank Friday, innit? So it clears like Friday 12, Friday morning, 12 o'clock, Thursday night, Friday morning. So come, come next Thursday, I should get a, a whole full um, week's wage in it, you know what I mean? So because today will be the, uh, the first week, the first full, full week I've done in the new job in it you know what i mean so uh yeah um yeah weekly pay it's agency in it i got the job agency man so it's agency so um yeah but obviously they cut they take the little cut in it you know what i mean agency work but weekly pay you know what i mean it's a lot better than where i was in xerox xerox was monthly Xerox was monthly pay, innit? it? You know what I mean? And the job's all right, man. So, no stress at the moment, man. It's all right, little job, man. So, yeah. I was saying, maybe in the next couple of weeks, I'll get a first ass new RC, in it, hopefully, man. You know what I mean? Give it a couple of weeks or so. I'm looking at the... Um, Oh. oh yeah, landed it. I'm looking at the um, HSP 10 scale truck. You know what I mean? I, I don't know much about HSP, the brand, but you know what I mean? Um, but they got a 10 scale. I think it used to be nitro, but they co converted it to 10 scale, brand new. Um, 202 pound on eBay, brand new, you know what I mean? So, um, looking at that, and then maybe, hopefully I get it in a couple of weeks and that, um, I'll do a size comparison, I'll compare it with this um, rival MT, innit? You know what I mean? Oh yes, landed that. Yeah, I'll compare it, see, the size because it's 10 scale in it two three s compatible if i don't know comments would be appreciated man if anyone knows anything about the hsp yeah hsp brand you know what i mean the manufacturers of the cars and shit you know what i mean different brand man you know what i mean besides armor tracks a different brand in it you know what i mean and this car is hobby grade it's hobby grade car, isn't it? You know what I mean? And the cost varies because you can get up to three batteries with the car. You get the charger, batteries, but um, the cost, the, the price varies. If you get three batteries, it's about 228 pound or something. So I got the 2S version with one battery and it's 202 pound. Um, yeah. But 2S is, is 3S compatible because it's got a 3,300 kV motor in it, I think. And, uh, oh shit, the body shell come apart. And um, 3,300 kV motor and a 60 amp ESC. So to save a bit of money, 
um, it's still 3S, you know what I mean? I just got the car, the truck, with a 2S battery, with one 2S battery in it. And it cost two, 202 pound. And there's about six still available in stock. So hopefully come two weeks, it'll still be in stock. If not, if they run out of stock by then, I was gonna get the FTX Rakatan. <laughs> the Rakatan. Yeah, Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson style, innit? Shit. Drop me a uh, Mel Gibson style. The new FTX Rakatan. The Rakatan. So, I've got that in the basket. It's about £249, slightly ex more expensive than the HSP. Um, so that's in the basket with a light kit. I'm going to get the light strips for the Rakuten. The FTX Rakuten, innit? You know what I mean? So, if. Yeah, so it's a choice of uh, the two cars, man. If I couldn't afford it, I'd buy both of them, man. You know what I mean? But I've just started this job. You yeah, so got other things, bills, bills and shit to pay. And uh, yeah, basically, so um, let me just put a body clip in there. So yeah, either the Rakuten, I don't know, I'm not sure because FTX I've gone off FTX 10 scale cars at the moment because um, the last FTX car I bought was that bug stuff and I've stripped I've stripped out untold gear untold spare gears on that bug stuff you know what I mean the FTX bug stuff um, where I converted it, I took out the old electronics, put my own electronics on it, and since then I, I can't set the mesh. Keep stripping out spur gears and shit. So I'm trying to flog. I'm trying to flog the FTX bugster at the moment, man. You know what I mean? But yeah, I'm trying to flog it. I'm trying to sell it. So yeah, because yeah, I ain't had much luck with that car, man. As I say, with the spur gear keep stripping out spur gears and shit all the time man and I can't seem to mesh mesh it properly yeah I think the input gear because I think I made a video on this um rival MT10 and the input gear stripped out in it and I basically swapped it out with a uh, another old input gear well a used input gear in it and now you can hear it's making noises so I wonder if we can just do give it one cent man in the skate park man fuck it you know what I mean one cent yeah so that's it that's what's happening man so hopefully next couple of weeks or so um, I'll be purchasing a brand new car, man. Oh shit, missed the skate park altogether, man. Fuck. How did that happen? Mr. Ramp. Mr. Ramp, man. Oh. Yeah, landed it. Eh? But, um, body's starting to um, give way. One cent and call it a day, man. Don't really want to trash this car, man. The input gear, the rear input gear, or whatever, it's starting to make noise. It's starting to make noises again.
The servo, shit. The servo, ha <laughs> fucking hell, look at this. The servo to totally, to totally come apart, man. Jeez. The servo gears in there. The servo, yeah, it cut off. I ain't got no steering, no throttle. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I ain't got no steering, man. The servo's fucked. Look. So, anyway, leave it there, man. Gotta go to work. 